hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be going over a virus protector program, and this program is called Avast. Um, it's is a really good virus protection slash virus scanner program. Right now I have the pro version, or well, I think I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's the version where you pay for it. Um, the free version works very well. There's only a few features that aren't on the free version. Um, and those are mostly the additional protection features. The regular Avast is, will not get viruses on your computer at all. It'll pretty much keep you fully protected. So, we'll start off here at the summary with the statistics. The current status isn't anything really. It shows you what I have turned on. With the statistics, you can go to the mail shield, the PT you can go to all these different shields right now with the file system shield so let's say we go to this date at 8.30 um, there are, I must have been doing a lot of things with files and there were no infected files but there were a lot of scanned files we also um, for this there's they have a mail shield which I I don't use that. The web shield, there were four infected pages which it defended me from. A P2P shield, uh, I don't know if I, I might have used this. Um, yes. My P2P shield, uh, this is the web shield. There was zero today. Then we have the IM shield, which uh, protects you from Facebook and stuff. Uh, maybe any viruses or anything on there. Also have the network shield, which uh, I believe it monitors the incoming data to uh, your computer from your router or from what wherever you're getting the uh, internet from. We have this script shield, which I believe controls the um, command, the system commands, like uh, the scripts. Really, this protects the registry files. Uh, the behavior shield, this protects if uh, maybe a virus tried to change the way the computer turned on or something like that this is that the anti-spam shield uh... i believe that I'm, yeah this is for mail which i don't use the uh... i don't use the mail i don't use hotmail so then we also have firewall this protects from the bytes that come in and out so i pretty much just described to you guys all that so then we have the scans right here we have a quick scan which is very quick obviously we have the full system scan this is all, these two features are in a lot of virus things but what what's really good about Avast is that these features the ones that I just showed you guys because not a lot of other virus protectors have P2P shields or IM shields or even really behavior shields. That's pretty exclusive to Avast and it, it works really well. For s <coughs> scanning we have those two which I've already told you about. The removable media scan is really cool. Um, I don't know if other virus programs have them, they probably do, but you can put in a USB drive or something and if it had a virus on it, it would scan it, you know, and make sure that you are protected. The boot time scan, I believe this, this is, uh, as you can see right here. It's one of the main weapons of a vast. Um, 
it pretty much, I guess, scans the viruses which try to bypass the OS file system drivers and thus is able to handle these number of stubborn root kits. So, you can schedule those. Scan logs. I even needed to run any virus scans because, uh, no, I haven't had any viruses. Right now, as you can see, nothing's really running. Um, we have firewall, which right now, as you can see, I have, uh, this is, uh, the shield, my firewall shield is running, this is my internet that's coming in and out, the bytes, and it's protecting it right now, I'm at home, so, pretty much everything will be able to come in, all connections will come in, and all connections will go out unrestricted and we have our network connections here uh, which pretty much yeah these are our um, this is my Java because uh, I'm running a another program in the background as I'm doing this and we have the application rules. You can choose what uh, applications can have what type of connections. So, like this, iTunes Helper has friends in and out. This Bonjour has all connections. This is a really cool uh, feature that's directly with a vast it has a built-in IP tracer I think it's really cool so let's we're gonna go to network connections and we're gonna go to trace I can right click that and I can actually trace this and I can actually trace where this is coming from which I think is pretty cool So I can actually trace where the connection is coming from, but the connection, I live within, uh, I live in like the northern, this part, and you can see all the connections bounce, and I'm playing RuneScape right now, this is the, this is my connection to RuneScape, well I'm not playing it right now, but this is the connection from earlier. Uh, so it's going to the United Kingdom so that you can pretty much yeah, tell it's, and you can also tell which other servers it goes through to get there um, you can click on it gives you as you can see the ISP is Jagus LTD it gives you the region and stuff like that usually the average ping I just personally think that's a really cool feature that's built into a vast. Um, and we have our firewall logs, which right now there's nothing. Additional protection. We have the anti spam, which doesn't really do anything. I won't, I mean, because I don't use the mail feature, but it uh, tries to prevent spam in your email. Sandbox. This lets. You can download a program, and if you don't know if it's a legit program or not, it could be a virus. You can run it in sandbox mode, which will run it in a safe environment, which, if it is a virus, it won't cause any harm to your computer or any change. Uh, then we have uh, this really cool thing called Safe Zone, which takes you to another a clean desktop where there's no icons or anything you can search the web you can pay your bills and stuff uh, by doing this and it's all safe because none of your information can be tracked by a keylog or anything because it's a clean uh, desktop because it's it's its own safe box then we have web rep which when you go on 
Firefox or something. Uh, it'll show you the reputations for different websites. You also have site blocking. Uh, maintenance, as you can see, it shows what, that I'm up to date and stuff. Virus chest shows you the viruses. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.